You are not gonna get rich renting out your time. You must own a piece of a business to gain your financial freedom. Those are the words of multimillionaire Naval Ravikant. But how do you start a business if you're totally broke? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down three proven businesses to start with little to no money that have the potential to make you tens of thousands of dollars a month. And no, I'm not gonna talk about fake passive income like drop shipping, Amazon FBA, or affiliate marketing either. Those are usually a scam run by experienced internet marketers. I'm gonna teach you things that require work. You see, most people working nine to five have bought into this idea that starting a business is super expensive and usually very risky. And in many cases, those people are right. However, there are businesses you can start that are safe, simple, and actually profitable. Now, to understand what I mean, I need you to understand these three steps to the wealth ladder. Now, this ladder is about building generational wealth. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. But to get there, you have to figure out the right steps to take to be able to reach your end goal. Now, the first step is to build a low risk business that generates actual cash. So this is really about generating your first 100,000 or million dollars a year. So these are usually services businesses that require investing a good amount of time, but actually not that much investment. And yes, for the most part, they're not scalable to hundreds of millions of dollars, but they get that basis right that you can then use for step two. And this is the step we're gonna focus on for these three ideas. Because once you start generating revenue, you can start investing some of that into higher risk, higher return opportunities in step two. So step two is about building products that can sell for large exits. So you can sell the company for $30 million, for example. A great example of this is a software business. This is Alex Becker. After getting step one right, he was able to invest that money into building a software company called Hyros that sold for $110 million. So step two is about taking high risk, high reward opportunities to become generationally rich. And step three is investing. You don't actually do any of the work. You just invest in a bunch of companies and hope that a couple of them go to the moon. This is Ben Horowitz. He invested $250,000 into Instagram at the very beginning, and he exited that for $78 million. That's 312 times return on investment. And what did he actually do to get there? Not very much. Okay, but let's get back to reality now. If you don't get step one right, you will not be able to do any of the further steps. So let's get back to our three ideas. The first idea is what got Iman Gatsi his first million dollars online building an agency. This is pretty straightforward. You are a services business and you are hired to be able to fulfill contracts. Now, the amazing thing about this is that it pretty much costs zero dollars to start. In fact, most people start this by simply freelancing and building a website. So you could start a marketing agency. You could start an automation agency. You might start an AI agency. You get the flow, right? There's lots of different agencies that you could start and you can kickstart it by being your first employee and fulfilling on the needs start building up a portfolio and then hire people to replace you in the job and you simply focus on getting more customers for the agency. Now, the most successful agencies I've seen have these three common traits. Now, number one is that they focus in on a skill in high demand. And if you're able to either save a lot of money for a company or to make a lot more money for a company, those are the kind of agencies which are must haves for these companies. Now, the second thing they do right is to focus on outcomes. So if you were, for example, a software development company, you might focus only on websites. If you're a marketing agency, you can simply focus on TikTok ads. If you're an automation agency, you could simply focus on using Zapier. The more focused you are on what you do and the specific outcome that you provide, the easier it's gonna be to scale. And the third trait that's super important is to get recurring revenue. So instead of having one-off contracts, negotiate monthly or annual contracts with your customers so you don't always have to run after the next client. Now, if you're thinking of starting an agency, once you get the basics right, there is one very important important thing that you have to do to make sure that you are scalable, and that is to build processes and systems. And the best tool set to use for this is a combination between Airtable as a database, softer to build a front end, and then have some automations made through Make. We help small businesses do this all the time, and they can easily double their revenue just by being more effective by having better processes. Now, the second idea is what allowed Sam Parr to sell his company for $30 million. It's called The Hustle, and what is it? It's just a newsletter. That's right, a newsletter. And then he taught his buddy Sean how to do this, who then sold his company for $20 million. And so if you only have $100 in a bank account, yes, you can just start a newsletter. In fact, it's 2024 and I just launched my newsletter business as well. And it's going pretty well. So if you wanna join 18,000 people reading my newsletter weekly, you can subscribe below. But if you wanna start a successful newsletter, there are five questions that you have to be answered to get this right. The first one is who is your audience? 
In my case, for example, it is non-technical entrepreneurs, either people who have ideas and want to build them but don't know how to code, or people who actually have a business and want to use no code and AI tools to really grow it. Number two, what is the actual outcome that you provide to those readers? In our case, we provide them with actionable steps and useful tools that they can use to build their businesses with no code and AI. The third question is what is the format of your newsletter that's gonna allow you to deliver the outcomes that we've just talked about? In our case, we have a section about success stories built with no code and AI. We have a featured tools section that talks about tools and what they can be used for. And we also have another one which is called meme inspiration. A little bit of meme to have a good laugh and a bit of inspiration to teach people some of these strategies. Now, of course, at this point, you're probably wondering, well, how do I actually do this? And that's question four, what are the actual tools? Now, in this case, there's only really one tool that I use for my business is called Beehive. It's really cool because it's kind of an all-in-one tool. And so what it allows me to do is to create a template for my weekly newsletter, then to be able to schedule all of my newsletters. Then they have some cool features that allow you to actually grow your audience, even though you're gonna have to also go out and get some subscribers. And then they even have a network of ad partners that allow you to monetize it. But just a heads up, there is a subscription fee for Beehive. If you wanna check it out, you can check out the description. And now the final question is how do you actually get readers for your newsletter? For this, you can create valuable content in the places where these people actually hang out. So for me, for example, I only really focus on putting it in the description box of my YouTube videos, but I'm gonna start also promoting this on LinkedIn. But that's just me. Your audience might be on TikTok, it could be on Instagram, it could be in Facebook. Another thing I'll probably try out is to pay Beehive to get myself placed in other newsletters too. It'll be an experiment, we'll see how it goes. But if you don't wanna launch a newsletter and don't wanna learn a new skill, then you could simply make money by selling the existing skills and knowledge that you currently have. And that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in this next idea. Now, this is what we call a productized service. It's a way for you to be able to take all the knowledge and insight that you might have in an industry or the skills that you have already developed and to make those into products that you can then sell to hundreds or thousands of other individuals. This could be in the form of a course, it could be an ebook, it could be consulting services, it could be coaching services, or even build a software platform that delivers the knowledge you have. Now for most of these ideas, it will literally cost you zero to a hundred dollars and you can make them once and sell them over and over and over. So let's take a concrete example here. If you were a real estate agent based in California, for example, you could create a course teaching first time home buyers the specific things they should look out for when they're buying buying a house that could cost them thousands of dollars and even how to negotiate a better rate when they're buying the property or teach them how interest and loans actually work and what values they should be looking at. Or you could build a website that gives access to people to off the market properties based on the relationships you have with other agents before those properties get listed on Zillow. You could even build a template that helps other agents organize the sale of individual properties with checklists, reminders, things like that. Now remember, if you build one of these businesses, then you have the cash to start investing in higher risk, higher reward opportunities. But if you're looking to build a website or an app and you have no coding skills and you don't have a big budget, then check out this video because I've tried all of these no-code tools that allow you to do just that, and here are the best ones. Subscribe to the channel for more, and let's go.